Good evening. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Thanks for joining us. A frightening incident in Oswego where this woman, police say, armed with a loaded shotgun, was seen wandering in a quiet neighborhood, at one point pointing the gun at a passing school bus. And while police say that kids on board didn't see it, the adults did, calling 911. As News Channel 9's Adrian Smith tells us, neighbors are still rattled. Sean Miller lives just two blocks away from where police say 42 year old Rita Powers was walking up and down West Schuyler Street, fully armed with a shotgun after stealing it from a nearby home. My kids were walking my dog around the block, and I'm just glad that my, my children didn't come in contact with that woman. Another neighbor who lives even closer saw some of what happened, and she's also wondering why someone would point a loaded gun at a school bus with children on board, which police also say Powers did during this incident. I mean, you see the stuff on the national news, but you don't always see it close to home. So, I mean, it's shocking, it's a little terrifying. You know, initially it was just like, oh my God, you know, take care of it. But, you know, being a small neighborhood, you know, there's some bigger issues here that this highlights. There were four grade school children and two adults on the bus at the time of the incident, but police say that the children did not see exactly what happened. But thanks to neighbors calling this in quickly, Powers was apprehended within minutes. It's not every day you see someone walking around with a shotgun in our community. Um, I don't think it's probably common anywhere for that matter, but uh, several of the neighbors did what they were short to do. They immediately were calling 911. They were providing descriptions, directions of travel. So. The, the neighbors did what they were supposed to do. This neighborhood coming together to keep everyone out of harm's way. I hope that my kids can and not have to worry about, you know, something like that going on. In Oswego, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. Powers was arraigned in Oswego County Family Court this afternoon.